week is episode two on the Reflex YouTube channel. I'm Mark, this is my innovative marine, Newville 20. <laughs> So my first tip is the light. So I'm running the XR30 G5 Blue, and it's a phenomenal light. Uh, plenty of spread, plenty of power. Uh, many people said when I first put it on this tank, which I swapped it for the two XR15 G4 Pros, uh, they said it's going to be way too much power, way too much light, going to melt your corals, it's going to be a disaster, but they were wrong. So I run it at 80%. I'm running my own schedule, if you want my schedule. Drop a comment down below and I will send it over to you. Uh, so basically, I'm running whites in the day, blues in the afternoon, evening, which I love the look of the blue, so I like a good session on blues. There's plenty of spread in this tank. There's about 425 across, 350 across the middle. The lower branch here is about 250 and across the bottom, I'd say 150. So everything grows well. Everything's growing towards the light, so I certainly don't think it's too much light. I've got enough spread in this tank to have corals everywhere. There's nothing that's really too shaded. I've got things like uh, true and data around the back, which is getting light. I've got acans around the other side around the back, which is getting light. Uh, everything's happy, thriving, growing, and colouring up nicely. So light for me, high light, lots of light, lots of spread in such a small tank, but it works. It really does work. So tip number two is the flow I use. So I'm running two wave makers and two pumps. So the first wave maker is Ecotex MP10. That's running 50% on reef crest, which is pushing across the front of the tank. And then running around the back, it's a JBO SOW30. And that's running on the lowest setting, which is facing up and forward, but towards the back, which is pushing water around the back. So it's a circular motion of water with the duct bills pushing the water out to the front of the glass. I find this works really well. And I've got acros, digis, toadstool, zoas, everything in there, getting just the right amount of flow. So it really, the circular motion really works for me. Make sure it's pushing everything around the back so no detritus builds up, so everything's moving if you're feeding i'll turn the flow off when i turn it on i can see it sweeps everything around the tank and it goes back into the filtration system so they are my two tips today so we got light and flow <laughs> episode two so episode three will be dropping next week so please do like share and subscribe and uh, this tank i will share all my tips tricks everything i've dosing my filtration at the back i'll go through it all in fine detail so everybody knows everything i'm doing and if you want to copy you're more than welcome to do so refrax and i'm out <laughs>